Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are visiting museum of sydney and now we are off to bus stop we are taking the bus to the city and then i'll take you with me Guys, we have reached the city. It's been, it was raining like heavily since last night, but now the sky is clear as crystal. And now we are going to museum via Pitt Street. Look how cute are these things. So finally we are here at Museum of Sydney, 1788. At that point I am so hungry. I really need a breakfast. There is a cafe I can see. It's I think it's a part of the museum. Let's go and explore. So guys, that's their menu. It's not halal, so I'm just having a chai latte and a croissant. I bought a croissant from here. It's really good. Here I'm sitting on the bench having my breakfast and watching the documentary. And this documentary is about the boats made out of tree box. Like we were sitting over there on that bench. And now we are on level one. There are some desks, you can sit on it. So what happened is, during 17th century, more than 100,000 convicts were transported to Australia. And these convicts were transported as punishment for the crimes committed in England and Ireland. So these small models are those ships that had actually brought the convicts to Australia. This map shows the route that ships traveling from England to Australia took, carrying both men and women who were convicted of crimes. It starts from England and then it has several stops and then it will go all the way to australia i'm not sure why it says new holland but yeah botany bay australia so this building of museum was a first government house of australia and you can see the building we can't have the access to it but that's how it used to look like and this is the picture of australia like 100 years ago how it looks like at that time and the part that i'm showing here is near the harbor bridge and the circular key it looks so fascinating and that's the picture of first government house you can see it says now museum of sydney they also have a small model of first government house so guys that's the first government house of australia that i was talking about see how beautifully it is designed and so huge and these are the artifacts that were found at the site at that time a hundred years ago And after that, we went to another documentary room. And this room represents the same Aboriginal people, like the people who already used to live in Australia before the convicts arrived. Those people, how they reacted to, to the arrival, they were like confused um, whether the convicts are good people or not. You know, they are in a state of confusing state of mind. Lions and tigers and elephants and gold and trinkets. 
and one more thing about aboriginal people aboriginal people are those people who were and are the original owners of this land called australia and now i'm entering into another documentary room documentary here is not that interesting so i was just having a look at the pictures of snowy mountains these are like very old pictures at that time and it is looking lovely snowy mountain where i live i because i live in sydney it's like five hour journey it's a far away i am thinking to visit and now we are in the art area these are all the birds that belongs to australia uh cockatoos and then they have magpie they have seagulls butterflies like all the insects as well frogs So there comes the masterpiece of all arts. It's filled with colors, fun, creativity, ideas, and you can also see it says respect. And all these arts reflect how Aboriginal people used to live their culture, and it is so lovely. this is so creative they have used plates to draw these sceneries and animals and ideas and different things and that is my favorite aunt with a cup of coffee at least i'm considering it coffee and then there were few pictures hanging on the wall and this is our last stop now these are some unique designs people use for doors windows basically these are grills at the very entrance of the museum you will find a few things underground they have drains and like then dumped uh, things like stone uh, plates and different things they also have the remains of a dog that you that was in in this first government house thank you so much guys for watching that's all from museum of sydney it's a very limited edition i know but still it's worth it